Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Scott, and we're with Bristol Rovers. We're here today to meet Josser Watling, who played over 350 times for Bristol Rovers. He fought in World War II with the Royal Navy. Now in his 90s, we're here to learn about his amazing life. When you turned 18, why did you decide to join the Navy? Uniform. Uniform? Yeah, uniform. Yeah, I didn't like the car key. I didn't like the, I didn't like the army one. No, so you just no. thought... So I got the Navy blue. one, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> got the Navy one. Lovely. Did a lot of your friends like sign up and stuff like that? No, my friends went in the army. <laughs> my friends went in the army. So uh, was I that... was only Navy one around, like, you know? Oh, so was that difficult, kind of, being alone? No, no. No? Because you make friends easy in the Navy, like, okay, you know? Yeah. Well, you have to, like, you know. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Are you yeah. still friends with any of the guys? No, they're all gone. Huh? They're all gone? They're all gone, yeah. That's a real shame. So when you were away, um, kind of on the ships, did you miss home? I was a home bird. I, I, I missed my family. The love they gave you, like, you know, mm. and all that, like, you know, because in the Navy it was rough, like, you know, yeah. because... What did you actually do in the Navy? Like, what was your kind of role and what was your job? Seaman. What's in that? other words, if we was being attacked, which we does, it's with subs like, you know, first one there is an older the, the shells like, you know. Okay. And you had to close your fist to push the shell in. Yeah. Then you get the ramrod in. Otherwise if you didn't close your fist, they take your fingers off. Funny. Yeah, look at it. And of course one one day, as I went under the gun, he fired it, didn't he? he frightened me to death. I was <laughs> ran the freaking muscle <laughs> fight at the end of the shit, look at it, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Pretty loud noise. Oh, it was a loud noise, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. What ship did you serve on and where did it go to? It was a destroyer. Then I got oh. it, I transferred to a corvette called the Denby Castle, which done the Russian convoy. Nice. Where did it go to? Russia. <laughs> 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 that, that is a place, if you look at a map, you get a, a place called Bear Island yeah. and Norway. And as you go through there, that's when you boats just have a pop at you. One of the ships that you served on was hit by a torpedo, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was the, the, um, the Denby Castle one on the Russian convoy. Okay. That's we're going into, into their docks, into, into their docks. That's when yeah. we got hit, yeah. yeah. So what, what happened? Your, your boat got hit and well, then... Well, I'll tell you this. I panicked, <laughs> all right? Yeah. And um, this ship come alongside. What was he called? The Black Swan. It was another like Corvette. Yeah. Come alongside for, to take us off, like, you know. And I got back to jump and I missed. And I clung onto the back rail. And of course, my legs are dangling in the water and I thought, well, I can't swim. And of course, the boats hit at sea. Oh, Two did... boats close together, they're coming together. Yeah. And I thought, oh, no, my legs. And I, God was with me that night. And I dropped back into our own ship again. Then I got back and I'd done a bigger jump. Ah, okay. That was it then. Yeah. Second time, blimey. Yeah, yeah. Your heart must have been racing then, oh, that was quite scary. No kidding, no yeah. kidding, yeah. Do you ever think, oh, no. what could have happened? No. no. Cut that right off, no. off my mind. Yeah, I don't have that. That's good. And you had a lot of like friends that were injured and killed and stuff in the war and stuff like that? Well, as I say, I, I lost two brothers in the war, like, you know. Hmm. And uh, that must, was it. Must have been pretty tough. Oh, yeah, it was tough, yeah. How did it feel when you came, went back to your family after brilliant, the war? Brilliant, yeah, it was brilliant, it was. But as I say, we lost, a brother, we lost some brothers, like, you know. Mm. And that was the sad part about it. Mm. That must have been really tough. War was a terrible thing. How did you come to sign for Bristol Rovers? I was playing for Abe Mouse St Andrews, and a, a, a scout with him was called Fred Hyde. And he said, would I like to sign for the Rovers? And I asked my dad, you know, what he thought, he said, well, I'll give it a go, which I did. And uh, what kind of player were you? Were you very simple or did you like skills? Simple. Or very simple? Simple. Make, make it simple. Life is simple. Yeah. It's no good making it hard for yourself. As, as the manager used to say, you get the ball down, Josh, yeah. and you get it in. Get it down, <laughs> get it in. Yeah. That's it. How different was football back then? Well, the ball is, is, is lovely for a start, isn't it? Our ball, no kind. Yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't kick it ten yards. You couldn't kick it ten yards. It was so heavy. It was an eighteen pound of one, a lace-up ball, and with a bladder inside, and it was so heavy. And with the Eastfield pitch being underwater half the time, and the one money games cancelled, yeah. you couldn't move it from here to that chair over there. No, <laughs> you, couldn't. you couldn't. No. No. So what's your best memory of your time at Rovers? What really stands out to you? Every time I played for Bristol Rovers, 
It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. And as I say, you've got a wonderful life ahead of you if you behave and listen to what you're told and do the easy things. Get it down, use it, get it down, use it. All right, if you fancy beating a man, beat him and get rid of it, like, you know, don't try and do too much and you last longer. Thank you very much, Joshua. It was absolutely lovely you're to welcome. be here. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.